everyone, this is Crystal, and I'm back with a page in my 2019 Project Life album. This is a six by eight album, and this is just one page that I'm working on right now. If you saw my last video, uh, you may know that I'm trying to work through some of the products that I have in my stash uh, before I do a big purge. Um, and while I had the Everyday Musings out for that uh, 12 by 12 layout that I just completed, I decided to just go ahead and do a page in my Project Life album as well with those same products. So that is what I'm going to do. This is a page. This is actually Easter. Um, this is our Easter dinner. And then I think this is right before. Uh, so April 20, oh, same day, April 21st. It looks like uh, that's when all of these were taken. So um, I thought it would be perfect for this collection because it's light and pastel and springy. So um, I thought it would be a fun one to do. So anyway, I am just going to uh, put you on fast forward and get started. So in my last video, I walked through all of the supplies that I have from this collection that are in my stash. Uh, so if you're curious about exactly what I have to pull from for this spread, you may want to go back and watch that video if you haven't already, or at least the first few minutes. That'll show you exactly what I have and what I'm working with. Um, but right now, I have all of these supplies already out on my stash, or on my desk, that is. Um, I went straight from working on that uh, 12 by 12 layout to working on this one. So they're already out, they're already right at hand, and I'm just pulling from what's there. So I went through the papers first. I definitely chose one. It's kind of an ombre pink stripe. I want to use that behind my food photo. Uh, and then I was debating about the other one. Um, I really like that blue floral pattern. That's my favorite in the collection. And I thought about using it, but the green one looked really good. So I decided to go through the die cuts and see what I'm gonna use to create a filler uh, page for, or a filler pocket for, for that top corner. And then that's gonna determine which of the papers I use. So I found this Bright Happy Days die cut. I thought, that's perfect, I should use that. It definitely looked better on the green paper, so that's the one I'm gonna go with. So I'm just gonna trim that one down to three by four, and then uh, continue with the embellishing. So this page came together super quickly because I had everything out and I was familiar with everything that was there because um, I had just worked with it. Uh, it. It came together really fast. So I love doing that if I have the time to work on more than one thing at a time um, or in a row. Uh, it definitely ends up going a lot smoother and a lot faster. So I'm pulling out the alphas that came in this collection and I want to add Easter, the title Easter, to that bottom photo. And um, so I'm just going to use, um, a, these are a variation in color. These alphas are um, multicolored, uh, which always throws me a little bit, but I'm going to try and make it work. So I'm trying to get a good balance of colors. I don't want to pull in anything new. Uh, I want to keep it basically to the colors that are on the page already, which is why I uh, removed that red E and, and replaced it with um, a blue one. And also it just barely fits across this three by four card. So uh, that, that red E had a flourish on the end of it, which would have been cut off. So I decided the blue one would have been better either way. And now I'm just looking for a label to put at the bottom of this card, just to add a couple lines of journaling and uh, then I can layer my title right on top of it. And I'm using my Thickers alignment tool. That's um, the easiest way I've found to, to get these letters uh, straight. And uh, it also lets you test out what will fit where on your page before you actually stick them down. So you don't end up having to um, stick and restick and move and all that business. Okay, so I really like how this uh, filler card is coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down, um, but it looks still a little blank to me, so I decide um, to pull out my sewing machine and just add a little bit of stitching to the top. So I'm just stitching back and forth across the top of that die cut um, just to give it some texture and some interest, and it looks kind of like that's how it's attached to the page, even though we both know I added glue behind it as well. Okay, so I'm just trimming off the little ends, and I don't even bother pulling them through to the back. Uh, I'm gonna tape down these back ones, but I didn't pull the front ones through, um, just because I, I had back stitched and forward stitched several times across it. I knew it wasn't gonna come undone, um, and it just was another step that, that I didn't take the time to do because it didn't seem necessary. Um, okay, so I'm, I added another label to that top photo. I added a die cut to, um, or actually that might be a sticker to the, the uh, 
bottom right photo and I'm just adding a few bits and pieces from the puffy sheets just to to fill it in and give it uh, again another level or layer of dimension and texture and just to give it that finishing touch and then that is pretty much it I think I do have to add my journaling um, and I just add a couple lines of journaling to each of those labels um, nothing really crazy to talk about it was Easter day I had I bought myself some flowers because why not? And um, we had our traditional Easter dinner, which is ham and cheesy taters. And we usually call it ham and cheesy tater days, or ham and cheesy tater day, because it's the only time we eat that meal all year. Um, okay, so that's going to be it. There are some close-up photos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this very quick spread. Uh, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you have liked it and that uh, I should do more of it. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.